Welcome to Reese and Shay. I just brushed my teeth. Ugh. Today we're going to be talking about, you know, I can never think of a good title for these things. Baby products you actually need versus that works. the ones you don't. Because when we were registering when I was pregnant, we had no idea what we were doing. We literally, I think I Pinterest like baby registry list and I like took that in and I was like, these are the things we need. And that was not right. Well, them. it doesn't help they give you a little gun. So you're like running around shooting things. That was such a boy thing to say. Well, I mean, you got a little gun. You like, want it, want it. First things first, the zip up swaddle. I hope that looked cool. I don't think it did. Reese was the only one of us to actually learn how to swaddle in the hospital. So thankfully we had a friend that was like, oh, there's zip up swaddles, so much easier. You literally place the baby inside and like then so. you just zip it up and they are swaddled. Sell at Target, check it out. The next one, the diaper pail. It's like you're gonna have like a changing station and everything wherever the baby's room is. Which is actually something we should touch on. No changing table. I mean, you can if you want, I guess, but like we never, almost it's, never. It's and his changing needed. table isn't even a changing table, it's a dresser and we put a changing pad on top of it. Proceed. We're always out in the living room and that's where he always is when we change him. Whatever you need, it's right but wherever cream. you are. Next thing, total game changer the Como Tomo bottle, freaking insane. And it feels like a boob. It's squishy. It's fun for all. So Reese and I did not sleep at all in the beginning, obviously. And he like, okay, this is one thing they don't talk about, but like the baby was all like tight and warm inside of you and then they're born and then you're just like, oh, now I sleep in your crib or bassinet or whatever. And that's so wide open that they freak out. They just like want to be held, but you, like you can't obviously hold them when you're sleeping all night. Docatot. We put him in that and that kid slept amazing after that. Slightly expensive, but when you're super your sleep deprived, Fucking worth it. Someone will get it for you. Another thing you don't need, stuffed animals. Like that's an obvious thing you don't need, but like they're seriously a waste of space. Just to give you an idea of how many stuffed animals we have. See what I mean? Not to say that we don't love them because they're super cute and like, I mean, I think we got a few of them ourselves but you just don't, you don't use them and like they can suffocate on them and it's just, I think this is his favorite one. So thank you Emma and Evan for getting us that because that's the only one that he that's likes. That's the winner. See, that's the thing that you feel bad. You're like, oh, but so-and-so got me this. And like Evan doesn't even remember getting us that. So I promise you they're not thinking about it. That's that. At your baby shower, you're gonna get a lot of shampoo, baby wash, and you're like, oh my God, wow, I'm going to use it all. You don't use it. Those are all brand new from our baby shower. Have not touched. Baby's heads are so small, okay? And so like you really only need like a little one like this and this will last a while. And then you find your one that you like and so it's like, well, I don't need to open these because like that's not his brand. And to kind of go off of like his brand kind of thing, when we weren't sleeping at all, we discovered um, Johnson & Johnson has a bedtime routine. Game changer. So it's a- Bubble bath. And then a lotion. And he gets a bath every night, so that's his bedtime routine. And so like, this is all we ever use. I don't know, you need baby towels. I think we use a baby towel every night, but baby wash cloths? Never. Those are maybe all brand like new. Maybe one or two. Because like you have washcloths, like just use yours. One thing that we really used, especially since she had to nurse in the middle of the night, was a bassinet thing, where like one of the sides would go down, so she could just grab and pull them onto the bed, feed them. Something we never would have thought we needed. Because I think you think that the baby's gonna go in the crib faster than the baby goes in the crib. So if you're not thinking about getting one of those, you should definitely think about getting one of those. And speaking of breastfeeding, rocking chair. 
it's so picturesque, but I never, I think I used it once during the day because it was there. The idea in your head, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go sit in my little rocking chair and feed the baby at night. No way, Jose. Way too tired. Just sit up, grab the baby, feed him in bed, put him back, you go back to bed. That's like reality. Smack. Done. <laughs> A bit on the pricier side, whopping in at a $300. This is definitely not something you need, but if you yes, ever <laughs> are like her <laughs> and get like super nervous, this definitely eases your mind. It's called the Outlet. I'm sure you've heard of it. This is the app. You just swipe up, it shows you his heart rate and his oxygen level. And if it goes below a certain I don't know what the number is, but huge alarm yeah, goes it's off. Really goes loud. off on anybody's phone that's connected. But the alarm is scary. When we first had him, she sat in the back with him a lot. You're just nervous. Like, yeah. You don't realize how nervous you're gonna be. Our next thing is a mirror that goes on the back seat. So you can look in your mirror, goes into his mirror and you can see him. I think we registered for it, but we were like, meh, like I mean, it was fine sitting in the back, but like sometimes you want to sit like up front. And that was the only way that I was comfortable doing that. Unnecessary items. A special trash can for diapers. Just use a normal trash can and take the trash out. They don't smell that bad. Wipe warmer. Someone offered to get us that. Super nice of them to offer, but like we have hands. So we just... <laughs> Boom, it's free. <laughs> Pacifiers, there's so many. And like, I'm pretty sure if you register at Target, like you get a gift bag with pacifiers in it. So like, just soak up the free ones. And then when your baby's here, just like pop them in and be like, which one do you like? And then you'll be like, oh, you like these ones and then go buy them. So don't bother registering it. Cause it's like a huge wall of like pacifiers and you're like, I don't know. Apparently newborn and then zero are different ages, so. And that goes with literally everything to do with babies. <laughs> what? We were like, huh? Like, isn't he a zero? And they were like, no, he's a newborn. And we're like, Makes no oh. Sense. As far as strollers go, we highly recommend the travel system type of stroller where like you have like- Grows with the child. It's like if we were somewhere and he was still asleep, we can just take the car seat and then just attach it onto the stroller and then keep him sleeping. 10 for 10, get the travel system. So on your like little list or whatever, it'll say register for burp rags. That's another thing you don't really think about. You're like, oh, I'll just use a couple like when they spit up. There's so much more spit up than you can imagine. And you're just like constantly like reaching for something to wipe it off with. So like we had burp rags everywhere in the house. If you ever need advice or like tips from somebody that actually knows what they're talking about, because that's not us, she found this book that has taught her a lot of things. I found it because of the Google. It's called The Baby Whisperer. I can't find it. We just wanted to hide it and like grab it all cool, but we couldn't find it. When Mission accomplished. Yeah, so. It's literally like the encyclopedia of what do I do with my baby. It's been freaking awesome. So another highly recommended book. Well, I guess it's the only book I've ever recommended. <laughs> yeah, that made no sense. <laughs> but yeah, just get it, okay? That's it, <laughs> folks. Bye. <laughs> Sorry about last week. <laughs> we just didn't feel like it. The ones we had recorded need cartoons, we didn't have time. We also didn't have money. Sorry, it's... Corey. <laughs> New videos when we feel like it. But they will come out on Tuesdays. It will be a Tuesday. <laughs> Which Tuesday? We don't know. That's all we have to talk. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Say anything. That's all we had to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Because I was about to cough and then you signed off. Why is it ending the hardest part? I don't know. That's all we had to talk about. <laughs> so loud. I'm committed.
took way too many tries. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna turn you off. <laughs>